You can't always know everything about someone. There are many sides to people that they can keep hidden from you and sometimes you learn about this side of them when it's too late. Many celebrities have experiences with their partners when they get married and realize that they made a huge mistake and married a monster. Let's talk about some of them today as we count down the top 10 celebrities who married awful people part 2. At number 10, Mike Tyson and Robin Givens. Mike Tyson's first marriage to wife Robin Givens was a rocky one. After 11 months of dating, the couple got married in 1988 in the wake of Robin's pregnancy, and afterwards, Mike gave Robin and her mother around $10 million to get them settled. In Mike's memoir, he accused Robin of marrying him and locking him into a relationship for her own gain, as he alleged that her pregnancy and subsequent miscarriage were faked in order to get him to marry her. In the media, Mike was dragged through the mud. There were allegations of mistreatment on Mike's part, and the infamous Barbara Walters interview did not help his image. The interview was originally supposed to be a one on one profile of Mike, but before the interview, Robin allegedly pulled Barbara aside and told her that she didn't have the whole truth about them. Robin was then invited to join the interview where she opened up about the things that she sustained while married to Mike and commenting on how she's been treated. And I woke up and I said, I don't deserve this. I never had this in my life before. And I'm not going to tolerate this. Soon after the interview, Robin filed for a divorce from Mike and was later caught cheating on him with Brad Pitt. Mike most definitely regrets marrying Robin as he said so in his book, and others refer to his marriage to Robin as quote, the one that ruined him. People online still debate who was in the wrong in this relationship and who was worse, but do you have any thoughts on this? Let me know down in the comments. At number 9, Axl Rose and Aaron Everly. The tumultuous relationship of Axl Rose and Aaron Everly is one that is certainly unforgettable, but not necessarily in the best way. The two met while Axl, the front man for Guns N' Roses, was still a struggling musician in the early days of his music career. Aaron became one of the most important people in Axl's life, being the inspiration for the song Sweet Child of Mine. Despite being a good looking match on the outside, they had a tumultuous relationship, but that didn't stop them from getting married at a Las Vegas ceremony in 1990. Axel allegedly forced Aaron into the marriage after he threatened to harm himself if she didn't marry him, so things were already off to a pretty toxic start. The marriage was later annulled in 1991, just nine months after getting married, and in 94, Aaron filed a civil lawsuit against Axel, where she alleged that she was mistreated by her then husband. Since the split, Aaron has auctioned off memorabilia that she had kept from her days with Axel in the band, looking to rid herself of any trace of her old ties with them, as she's carried a lot of that pain with her for so long. From what she said about her marriage, to Axel, things were certainly bad, and he wasn't the best person to be married to by a long shot. Before we carry on talking about some of these horrible celebrity marriages, why not subscribe to see more videos like this one and leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far. At number 8, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Prince Charles and Princess Diana were one of the most beloved celebrity couples. The whole world loved them. Well, they loved Diana more than anything. She was considered to be the people's princess, but behind closed doors she was living a hard life neglected by her husband. She was always second best in Charles' eyes, having never gotten over his infatuation for Camilla Parker Bowles. Charles and Diana got married in 1981 and had two kids together, but because of Charles' extramarital affairs and Diana's unhappiness in the relationship, they got divorced in 1996. Diana regretted marrying Charles because she always knew that there would always be three people in the marriage, her, Charles, and Camilla. She deserved so much better, but she got Charles' cold shoulder instead. She was loved by the world, and eventually, after she was freed from the royal family, that became enough. Now, I'm not saying that Charles is an awful person himself, but their whole marriage just wasn't very positive, and Diana got into a pretty unfortunate situation when she married the prince. At number 7, Audrina Patridge and Corey Bowen. The Hill star Audrina Patridge and BMX athlete Corey Bowen had a toxic and tumultuous relationship that was really just negative in every sense of the word. After about seven years of dating, the couple got engaged in November of 2015 and were soon married by the following year after welcoming their daughter Kira into the world. By 2018, they were done and the legal battle began. Audrina alleged that Corey was violent towards her. Leading up to their official divorce, Audrina had been granted a restraining order preventing Corey from being within 100 feet of his wife and daughter. Audrina claimed that Corey had been very aggressive towards her on multiple occasions and that she just couldn't take it anymore. Luckily, she was able to get out of that horrible relationship and probably regrets getting into it in the first place. Needless to say, this was an awful marriage through and through. 
At number six, Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio. When Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio got married, it was a pretty big deal. The actress and the athlete looked like a beautiful match who were deeply in love, having met and married within a relatively short amount of time. They looked to be head over heels for each other, but some believe that their marriage was rushed because it all took place within the time that they had between work engagements. They got married in a quiet city hall ceremony in January 1954 and turned a work trip to Japan into their honeymoon. But just nine months later, that spark had faded and their relationship crumbled apart. Joe allegedly wanted a stay at home wife, but because Marilyn was at the height of her career, she wouldn't agree to that and wanted to keep working. Joe also apparently had a hard time coming to terms with his wife's image, and apparently her famous subway great scene was the last straw. Their marriage ended with Marilyn citing mental cruelty as one of the reasons behind their divorce. She didn't like how her husband didn't want to support her, and that's just not what she needed in her life then. In a relationship, you need to be able to support your partner no matter what, so clearly this wasn't a very good match. At number 5, Eddie Murphy and Tracy Edmonds. Comedian Eddie Murphy has had his quarrels with love. After a number of failed relationships, he thought he found the one when he met producer Tracy Edmonds. They dated for a few months before getting engaged, eventually leading to a lavish $500,000 wedding in Bora Bora. You know, things are getting serious when you take it all the way to a tiny island in the middle of the ocean. Their wedding, which was attended by 25 people, wasn't technically legally binding, but they had planned to go through with the whole process upon getting back to the United States after their ceremony, but but unfortunately, that never ended up happening. It's said that things started to go downhill quite quickly after the ceremony, as people reported Eddie being standoffish and not wanting to spend time with his new bride. Other guests who stayed on the island after the ceremony reported that they could hear Eddie and Tracy yelling at each other, fighting, which ended with Tracy in tears. Just two weeks after the wedding, they decided that marriage just wasn't for them, and they called it quits. Even though they weren't technically legally married, their marriage was still awful, and they were equally as bad for each other. Maybe it's for the best that things didn't work out. At number 4, Lena Waithe and Alana Mayo Screenwriter Lena Waithe and her ex-wife Alana Mayo surprised fans when they announced that they had gotten married in a private and secret ceremony that was a spur of the moment decision, but just two months later they announced their separation. In a joint statement to their supporters, the couple announced that they were splitting up, and so as fans do, they speculated as to why they ended their relationship so quickly. Rumors that Lena had been unfaithful started swirling and some sort Sources even said that their relationship had been rocky even before the couple got married. According to some, Lena and Alana's wedding came after multiple cases of cheating, and that even after their wedding, Lena was still buying expensive gifts for other women. Allegedly, this was all too much for Alana to handle, and so they called it quits. Cheating in a relationship is always a recipe for disaster, and marrying a cheater is just so unfortunate, but at least you get to move on to bigger and better things. At number three, Cardi B and Offset. Cardi and Offset have had a rocky relationship, and many people say that they're both just awful for each other. Because of all the drama that these two have had in the past during their marriage, and the fact that they almost got divorced, I think it's safe to say that things have been bad before, and it's honestly kind of debatable whether things are actually okay now or not. Though they have been married for over three years and have kids together, apparently that hasn't stopped Offset from seeking comfort elsewhere. As I mentioned, Cardi even filed for divorce from Offset in 2020 because of his infidelity, so they later got back together after he spoiled her for her birthday, buying her a $300,000 car and dedicating a billboard to her. Offset has had a number of cheating scandals over the course of his relationship with Cardi. In 2018, about a year after the couple got married in secret, Offset faced rumors that he had cheated on Cardi and even made an adult film with another woman. Back in 2020, he faced more cheating allegations when it was rumored that he even fathered a child during this affair. A lot of people say that this is a toxic relationship, but they just keep coming back to each other, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see how things play out, I guess. At number 2, JLo and Alex Rodriguez Now even though they weren't technically married, Alex Rodriguez and Jennifer Lopez still had the intention of doing so. That is, until things got messy and Alex was caught in a cheating scandal. Cheating scandals aren't anything new for the baseball player, having been accused of infidelity in the past, but this new scandal might have been the one where JLo said enough is enough and called off the wedding. In January of this year, Alex was accused of cheating on JLo with reality TV star Madison LaCroix. This rumor started circulating after 
Dr. LaCroix was accused of having an alleged affair with a former MLB player. And this was brought up during a taping of a reality reunion show. Shortly after the taping aired, these allegations escalated with Madison admitting to having been in contact with A-Rod. She insisted that their communications were innocent, saying that they never met up and never had any physical contact, saying quote, he's never physically cheated with his fiance with me. The only solid proof that we have of A-Rod being in contact with Madison comes from a source close to Alex who told sources that Alex had slid into Madison's DMs and that they had exchanged some quote, thirsty photos. Not too long after this all went down, A-Rod and J-Lo announced that they were breaking up and called off their engagement. Cheaters are awful, period. And finally, at number one, Jaina Kramer and Mike Cawson. I stand by the saying, once a cheater, always a cheater, and so do a lot of people who've been in failed relationships. Once your partner does you wrong once, it takes a lot to regain that trust, and sometimes, after a bond is broken, this seems to have been the case with football player Mike Cawson and his wife, singer and actress Jaina Kramer. The couple faced a cheating scandal in 2016, and after that, they spent the next few years trying to work on their marriage, trying to reconcile after this drama affected them so greatly, but the couple recently called it quits on their marriage when Jana took to social media in late April to announce their divorce. Her message to the public read quote, It's time. I try and make sense of a reality I never wanted to believe could be possible again. Those words have now become reality. I've fought y'all. I've loved hard. I've forgiven. i put the work in. I've given everything I have and now I have nothing else to give. The couple briefly split following the cheating scandal I mentioned before where Mike's secrets were exposed and though they were able to make amends and try to work on regaining their bond, things just weren't meant to work out in the long term it seems. In her filings, Janet also cited causes and reasons for their divorce saying that quote, inappropriate marital conduct, irreconcilable differences, and adultery were the reasons behind their failed marriage. In the end, people came to see that Jana married a pretty awful person, but the fact that they're free from each other is for the best, so now they can move on and grow from this. Now before I wrap things up for today, I want you guys to tell me what kind of qualities you look for in a partner. Hopefully there's some good ones and you don't end up with a horrible partner like many of these celebrities have. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host, Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends.